Okay, in this video, I'm gonna talk about how to use the Java foil to design the solar car shape. For example, if we want the car to look like this one, we can clearly see here the car is separated to five parts. The canopy, upper body, bottom body, front wheel fill, and back wheel fill. Every part can be regarded as an L foil shape components. So here, I just take the upper body as an example to show how to use the Java foil. When you open the Java foil, this is what comes up. You get different tabs across the top, and you can specify geometry, modify it, and check the flow field. That's how I move through. The first part just gives you the basic L for your shape. You can choose to use any digit series L for your shape here, it doesn't matter. But I usually recommend the six digit because all the parameters are changeable in this series. According to our frame shape, the thickness of the upper body is around 14 inches, so I don't need to change here. The thickness node location is about 30, 40, it doesn't very matter. And we leave the lift coefficient here because we will modify it in the next step. After we type all of this, we create the air foil. So the basic air foil shape we have already built. In the modify, more parameters can be changed. You can change the X location, but it's not very useful. And you can rotate the L for your shape if you want. Rotate it. Yeah, you can rotate it. And the most important thing is that you need to modify the camber. For near grounded vehicles, Camber is usually between 3% to 5% to make sure the lifted force is around zero. So we just use 3% here. And since our car is near the ground, we need to go to the options to select the ground effect. And we go back to the modify to make sure our car body should above the X axis since the X axis is the ground. So we change the right directions here so we can see our car is above the ground. In the design card we can see the pressure distribution and in the velocity card you can see the lift coefficient and the drag co coefficient under, under the different flow attack angle. In the flow field, we can observe the streamline and the lift drag coefficient under the specific flow attack angle. We simply think the flow attack angle is zero here and the streamline looks like this. The lift coefficient is normal and the drag coefficient is small. We can change the camber number here. Like if I type the 1% and go back to the flow field to analyze it. We can see the pressure is larger at the bottom and the lift goes to the negative direction which push the car to the ground. So it's not very good. That's why we usually choose 3% to 5% camber of our car. So we tap it back to 3%. Okay. And you can see the pressure is more constant and the lift is small. You can also change other parameters to see how they influence the lift and the pressure. So you can play around this. 
after we modify the shape, we go back to the geometry and、uh, copy the text. And then we copy the text to a Excel file. Here, we copy the copy the number to the Excel file. And we need to reorder the x y direction according to the axis in the SolidWorks. From here, since we are doing the upper body, so we need x direction is z direction here. Y direction is y direction, and the x direction is zero. So we go back to the Excel and make sure the x direction is zero and the z direction is x direction and the y direction is y direction. And we need to change the length and width to what we need. Since our car is about 4.5 meters, which is about 177 inches, so the length is. Needs to times seventy-seven, or one seventy-seven inches, and the the width the width need to be changed according to the ratio. So the length is one seventy-seven, and the width is here. After we modify this, we copy the shape. Copy. It. To a text file and save it, so we have the upper body shape. For the other parts, we use the same method and save all of them to text files. This is how we use Java Foil to select shape. How to import the shape into SolidWorks will be introduced in the next video. So the Java Foil video. It's down here.